Ahoy! Kyle T. Johnson here, and I'm the narrator for SteamWorld Heist 2. Today we're going to check out the watery world that sets the stage for Heist 2 and take a look at the overworld gameplay. But first, let's talk about the story. Steam-powered robots need water to work. And in outer space, it's in short supply. There is one exception, the Great Oceanic Shard, a slice of the shattered Earth that orbits the planet's exposed core. However, something seems to be poisoning the shard sea, making it corrosive to those that rely on it. In response, the Royal Navy has enforced strict control over the resource, raising tensions to a boiling point. Not that any of this really bothers Captain Quincy Leeway, a bot who lives in the long shadow of his mother, the Great Krakenbane. He's more concerned with his confiscated submarine, and he's just heard a rumor about where it might be docked. As the leader of his crew, Quincy is a character you'll be controlling in between missions. He'll visit the fine establishments of the Shard, recruiting new team members and purchasing upgrades, weapons, and items for your crew. However, due to his missing arm, Quincy can't lend a hand. Come on, did Beglarb write this? Quincy can't assist during missions and will have to leave it to his starting crewmates, the adoring Daisy who thinks the world of her captain and Wesley, a gentle bot who wants nothing more than to die an honorable death in combat. Life goals are important, I suppose. We've revamped the way you pick missions in SteamWorld Heist 2. This time, the world around you is a great mystery, and you'll need to clear the fog in order to discover new locations, missions, and secrets. But you're far from alone in sailing the Great Sea. The power-hungry Royal Navy patrols the waters of East and West Caribbea, and they will attack on sight. So bravely running away might be your best bet. If you get past the patrols, you'll eventually run into the Great Wall, which separates sunny Caribbea from the bolt-chilling Arctica. Getting to the other side of the barrier will be no small feat, since the Royal Navy has armed it to the teeth, and then some. Should you somehow cross the wall, good news! You're now in Rattler territory, where you're apt to get a cold welcome from this boneheaded faction. And beyond that, who knows? The ocean is vast, full of buried secrets. Some of them perhaps best left in the deep. If you're looking to better acquaint yourself with the afterlife, an alternative to running away from patrolling ships may be to face them head on. Just line up your shots and let your submarine's weapons deal damage to your foes. Your enemies will do the same, so careful maneuvering will be key to your survival. Not to mention your enemy's arsenal of underwater mines, missile silos, and mighty flagships. Should your ship get wrecked, don't worry, you'll respawn at the latest bar you've visited. As you uncover more of the Great Oceanic Shard, you'll unlock new equipment for your submarine. Attach machine guns, lasers, and rockets to make short work of any marauding menace. Gain a speed boost that lets you discover new areas. And maybe even find an upgrade that lets your busted submarine duck back under the waves. Great Sea Shard is filled to the brim with secrets, missions, and stories for you to uncover. So grab your map, set course, and prepare for a heck of a heist in Steam World Heist 2. Check out our last feature video where we dove into the gameplay of Steam World Heist 2.